Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're heading out to a job site to install some Unify network gear as well as some access gear. The electricians ran all the cabling for us. There's about 26 cables that we need to terminate, put in the Unify gear, and then test it. Now let's get to site. We're now at the job site and we have this uh, 27U rack that we picked up from Infinite Cables. It is an AV rack, but typical racks don't come in that uh, size of unit, the 27U. We have about 28 cables coming down from the wall that the electrician ran that we're going to be putting into this rack alongside all of this ubiquity gear. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this all apart and we're going to start terminating. This rack comes fully populated with some shelves and some blanking units, but we don't need those for the most part, so I'm going to end up taking them out. Um, and all these cables are going to come in from the bottom and loop up, and we'll have to use my cable comb to make those look nice. To make my cables neat, I'm using the Panduit cable comb as well as some Velcro, and I will have affiliate links down in the description below. At this part of the job, I'm putting the CAT6 cable through the keystone slots of our patch panel. I'm going to be marking off the back with the Sharpie so that I know where I'm going to be cutting the cabling so that it fits perfectly in. We do use the vertical cable VMAX jacks as well as the eye punch tool to be able to crimp these and those will also be in the description below.
we're done here for the day now. I'm gonna show you what we did starting at the back. They wanted a doorbell on the back door, so that's what they got, this white G4 Doorbell Pro. And there is a chime up top. You probably won't be able to hear it, but we'll go see that right now. And the chime is right behind this door. We didn't wire any of this, the electricians did, so they just put it at that height. And we have four access points, and the APs that we chose were the U7 Pros. And you can see where it was wired to, and it's just up on the rafter. We'll go look at the other two, or other three. You'd see another one here, and that is to cover this office, or these couple offices, and a bit of the kitchen area. If we go into here, this will be a different meeting room, and we also have one right in the middle over there. Going to the very front, we have another access point, and that's to cover all of these receptacles. They are hardwired as well, and we do have one access door going to the front. The access door that they chose was the G3 Reader Pro, and that's because they want to have the Apple Wallet support. You can see that it's currently updating. This door handle needs to be changed out, but the electric strike also got cut in. And last but not least, we have our network rack. So at the top, we're using a UDM Pro Max, then we're using the Unify patch panel, and you can see that it's all labeled. We are using the Ether Lighting patch cables going into USW Pro 48, and we have another patch panel with a bunch of Blakes in it and then the PDU. And that is it for this rack. They are gonna put some servers down below. And that was a really fun small job to do. There were a couple issues that always come up with these jobs. Since we didn't run the cabling, there wasn't really a lot of slack at the network rack. There was maybe about 10 feet, so that made it a little bit challenging. For the cubicle areas, they didn't leave enough slack either. So typically we route the ethernet cable through the furniture, but since there was only about four feet coming out from the wall, we were unable to do that. Other than that, the electricians did great. They labeled everything for us, making it very easy. And our install went really well with the one axis. We also did have one protect camera. So the axis and the protect together work awesome. You can see the access reader right in protect and it will record 24 seven. If you have any questions about this job, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.